Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about variable ND system and choosing the right ND or a variable ND system for your lenses or cinema lenses. So the two ND and variable ND systems that I use are the uh, Earth 8 or 10 stop ND system that I use on my uh, Sigma 35mm 1.2. Putting this on there I can bring my f-stop all the way down to 1.2 and shoot in bright day which is very good if, especially if you want that nice depth of field. And then the variable ND system, this one I'm not too keen on only because it has a little bit of a cult. Now the other system that I want to talk about which is a newer system that just came out from Small Rig, their variable ND system uh, mat box. Basically this is this is the whole unit right here. So now there are two ways to buy this mat box system. One is to get the variable ND system which will slide into the mat box. Get your scroll wheel right here. The other part that you have to buy would be the mat box with the slide in 4x4 filters. I really love this product actually. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's very easy to use. It comes with a variety of different adapters that you can use on different lenses. But in this case, I was able to attach this onto my Sigma 35 1.2 lens and I was able to shoot all the way at 1.2. So now I did take this out for a few quick test shots and I was able to shoot all the way at 1.2, basically allowing all the light come in, allowing me to get that depth of field with the 1.2. But maybe for my quick run and gun shoots, I might stick with the Earth ND 10 stop only because it's very small, very light. So now using this over one of these variable NDs or eight stop ND systems, the benefit of having this map box system is if you are shooting midday, 12 o'clock afternoon, something like that, and the sun is directly above you, and you don't wanna have those sun flares or light leaks coming into the lens, that's where this map box is definitely gonna come in very handy. But if you are gonna be doing run and gun um, shoot, something quick, easy, and fast, I would probably still kind of aim more towards the smaller ND systems, eight or 10 stop, or even the variable ND. Let me know what you guys think about this video and also let me know what you think about the test footage. And we'll see you guys in the next video.